Hello, my name is Jimei Hippolito, and I'll be presenting for Group 11. We had the pleasure of working with Kafa SJSU with Pete Cadano as our host. We wanted to share a quote with you that we felt fit well with our group. It's an African proverb, and it says, If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Here's a picture of our group during the final days of editing. From the left, it's Olivia, Judah Mel, Robin, myself, Twee, and Jennifer. Now more on COF at SGSU. COF stands for Campuses Organized and United for Good Health. It's a student-led coalition to promote healthy habits for SGSU students. They especially advocate for a smoke-free campus. In working with this group, our goal was to create a timeless poster and a promotional video. Here's a snapshot of their Facebook page. And here's the logo for their organization. Now more on research. Some research that was used in the process of the project was to look at previously collected data. In 2011, Koff conducted a survey on SJSU students, staff, and faculty. They found that 83% of those who took the test supported for a smoke-free campus. We also used statistics from Santa Clara County Public Health on smoking. Using these statistics help our group realize the reason for this organization. Here's a snapshot of the cough survey online and here are their partners. Now on to technology. With the help of technology, we were able to understand our host needs better. By looking at the survey results online, we saw how important their cause was. We were also able to look at their Facebook page. Here we saw the mission of the organization and got a feel of what their organization was really about. We also got to see previous events that COF participated in. Texts were also important. Our host was always quick in responding to us. It was a quick way of communication. Email was also key. We used it as our initial contact to our host. And we also used it when we had large pieces of information that we needed to share with each other. Technology also showed us how it's able to reach out and share to many people at one time. Koff was able to show that their work was making a difference and an impact. Here's a snapshot of a post that they put on their Facebook page. They announced that, that they were getting closer to their goal. The chancellor of the CSU system stated that he, that he was interested in making all CSU campuses smoke-free. So for our project objectives, it was to make a poster and a video that advocates for cough and to make SGSU smoke free. We also aim to inform others about what cough was, their mission, and be able to gain support for, for them. Lastly, our call to action was to encourage others to join COF if, the, if they supported their cause. The goals for each specific tool were to show the harm of smoking through a poster and for the video to showcase what cough was and to illustrate both sides of the smoking ban debate. For our video project method, of course, we needed to film our interviews and the events that we were going to cover. To do so, we used an HD JVC camera which we rented from the IRC and we also used a Canon 7D. For behind the scenes, since we already had smartphones, we just used our iPhones and our Androids. The events we filmed were the cigarette butt cleanup, which happened on April 18, and Earth Day, which happened on April 23. 
Here are some photos of the cleanup. To design our video, we had to first figure out what angle we wanted to go with. So we spoke with our host and he told us what he wanted. Next, we needed to make a storyboard. And a storyboard is used to figure out how exactly we want the video to look like. Then we set up days and times for the interviews we needed to film and we got b-roll of the events we were filming. Lastly, to edit our video, we used iMovie to add effects and our voiceovers. For our poster, we also used the Canon 7D and a regular Samsung point-and-shoot digital camera to take the pictures for our poster. To edit our poster, we used Adobe Photoshop, which is free for all students on campus. To share our pictures that we took amongst each other, we used Dropbox, which we made at the beginning of the semester. For our poster tool design, we first had to come up with an idea and concept of how we wanted the poster to look like. And this is what we came up with. We wanted the poster to have the SJSU Tower Hall in the background, and we wanted real people blacked out without any faces to show the impact smoking can have on our campus, and that it doesn't affect only one type of person, but it can affect anybody. This whole project was a learning process. There was a problem with gnat sound in the footage. Sometimes the sound in the background was louder than the one being interviewed. A simple fix to this was a microphone. We also had an issue with files not opening once they were imported onto our laptops. Luckily, our host was able to open these files and email them to us for us to use. There was also lighting and technical issues with the camera and mic. A simple fix to the lighting issue was if the lighting wasn't good in the place you were at, move to a place with better lighting. Our poster process went through three phases. This was our first poster. So the concept of our poster was to have the SJSU tower hall in the background. We wanted to have a smoker in the picture and we wanted different people in the background to represent the whole San Jose State community. So here we have students in the background, we have a pregnant lady, we have an elderly woman, we have a professor, and we also have children. We have the smoker in the foreground, in the front, smoking, with the smoke going towards the people to show that it's affecting them and not just the one smoking. Some of the critiques we had on this poster was that it is a little too dark, and that the smoker wasn't big enough, and the cigarette was too small, and that there wasn't enough smoke to show the impact smoking had. So we move on to our second poster. To fix the darkness issue, Rather than having the background black and white, we just muted it so that there's a little more color. We made the smoker bigger, the cigarette bigger, and we added more smoke. But the critique to this poster was that now it looks like the people were burning. So we move on to our final poster. So what we did here was we lightened the color of the smoke, and we also raised the smoke just a little so that the smoke is hovering around their heads rather than on them so it doesn't look like they're burning anymore. Lastly, we also added the cough Facebook page up at top so that those viewing the poster know where to go to get more information. We learned a lot through the whole process of this project. One was to be flexible. If everyone is willing and trying to make an effort to make it to every event or every meeting, you should also. You should always check your email and phone often. If you simply miss a few minutes of a conversation or even a few hours of a conversation, you can easily get lost. Be dependable. If you say you're going to do something, pull through with it because the others are expecting you to do so. Always have a backup plan. Be patient. Have a good attitude because it reflects on your work. Lastly, we learned how to use Photoshop, which took a really long time, and how to use iMovie. 
Our key insights were that we can spread valuable information to communities through social media, inform others about good health, and lastly, technology can outreach to those beyond SJSU. And here's our sampler. Emphysema. Unhealthy. Gross. Harmful. Unhealthy. Cancer. Unhealthy and cancerous are just a few words used to describe smoking. Smoking, a recent and large debate here at SGSU, has been supported by the Cough Organization. My name is Pete Cadano. I'm the current president of Cough at SGSU. It's a student-led coalition committed to promoting a healthier educational environment through tobacco policy adoption and education. To promote a healthy learning environment, this is exactly why Cough was established at SGSU. My name is Tanya Beach and I work for the Santa Clara County Public Health Department. Roughly 99% of smokers started smoking before the age of 26, which is why we want San Jose State to have a smoke-free or even a tobacco-free policy, which will encourage people not to smoke and by creating a healthier campus community. The current smoking policy at San Jose State University is no smoking within 25 feet of buildings and windows. Despite having this rule, students and visitors alike still do not follow this campus smoking policy. To make this issue known, COF at SJSU participates in many campus events and activities. Hey, my name is Robert Link and I'm a faculty lecturer at San Jose State University. I'm also an advisor to COF San Jose State. Some of the COF's events that we're doing, we, do, we work with Earth Day and we're actually about our science department do a litter cleanup. We've done Spartapalooza in terms of giving that information. We've done all kinds of events on campus, usually about two to three a semester. Every April, COF joins SJSU in celebrating Earth Day by promoting a smoke-free campus. Through tabling and games, COF, along with the Health Science Community Health Promotion Class, educated students, staff, and the community. At Earth Day, attendees had different views on making SJSU smoke-free. Those of us that don't smoke, uh, it's not pleasant. I walk through here all the time, and I am glad you want to not do not have smoke. You're going to force students that have class, like in the middle of campus, to walk all the way off campus to smoke a cigarette? It seems a little ridiculous to me personally. Prior to Earth Day, the Community Health Promotion class, with the guidance of CAFA SGSU, prepared for Earth Day by making prizes and handouts. In addition to Earth Day preparations, the Health Communication and Technology class helped document this group prepare for the cigarette litter cleanup. Yeah, so like, whoever has this map just goes around this whole area. The activity was supported by over 50 people from different clubs, classes, and organizations. Today I went around campus and picked up a lot of the cigarette butts in a lot of the areas that smokers like to hang out. And we picked them up all around, all around the ashtrays and basically we're trying to make the campus a little bit cleaner. So picking up all of these just with one or two people in, in very localized areas. So making the campus a little bit cleaner one, one cigarette butt at a time. A total of 11,077 cigarette butts were picked up that day, the most the group has ever collected. So if you're a San Jose State student, faculty, or staff, I really want you to advocate and educate people around you around the importance of a 100% smoke, smoke-free uh, policy here at San Jose State. So definitely go out there. Your voice will be heard. You are paying for your tuition here. And if you really feel strongly about having a smoke-free campus policy, um, definitely join COP at SJSU, and then they will partner with you. You can join litter cleanups, um, write letters to the president and together we can be have a finally after 10 years of San Jose State smoke-free campus.